We've been called the Abbott and Costello of musky fishing, not because we're a hilarious comedy troupe from the 1940s, but because he's sort of skinny and I'm kind of fat. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Sorry for the obscure reference kids, you're gonna have to Google that one. But uh, we are in northern Wisconsin. I have my good buddy Nate back here. We are up for kind of a guy's weekend. We've got another boat fishing another lake. Uh, so we'll see how they do later. But uh, we just got started. We are rocking a bucktail and a dive in our eyes. We have 64 degree water. Uh, we're kind of fishing the first cool down of the year up here. So it should be bucktail and topwater time. Fingers crossed for that. Um, other than that, I don't know what the... It's juicy. It is juicy. He's a man of few words, but yeah. they are... Yeah. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> so, all right, let's stop all this silliness and let's get to fishing. All right, people, we are in the north woods of Wisconsin again. And once again, I'll be rocking a Kodiak 8-inch Navin. Uh, this little fat head color has been doing pretty good for me this year. 9-foot, 2020 assault stick with a 400 tranks. Nate is throwing <laughs> killer corn. Just wait a minute. Yeah, just wait for it, folks. It's the killer corn. What else would we, we be doing? There it is. Look at this beautiful little thing. Nice me? and beat up. Canadians think they're funny. But uh, so that's what we're rocking today, people. We got assault sticks, we got Esox assault, we got Navins. Let's catch fish. I'll just grab some. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. You can throw a Navin if you want. Yeah. Uh, this guy. Yeah, maybe I'll just let the wind blow us down this. I've never really fished this. Fish? Holy cow! Wow, dude. That's a nice fish, buddy! Holy cow! Dude, that jumped? Oh my gosh! Hard. Oh, I bet. Cool. Just first twitch down and bam. First cast with an Avon. I've never fished this stretch. It, we were just going to kill some time. Wow. Woo. Okay. Going. Well, that's that's a thing, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, we've had absolutely nothing happen since we started. So nothing to talk about, nothing to show, and. Uh, well, that all changed really quick. We have a super nice fish in the net here. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing. Forty, 
five and a half. Yep. Musky for me, baby. By a lot. Woo! All right, we gotta stop some cameras. We gotta get reset on that drift because that that just made the day. Everything from here on out is gravy, people. That is awesome. All right, let's we'll get back to it here. Little guy. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad fish. Pike. <laughs> nice pike. Wow, that is a dandy pike, dude. Wow. Well, holy moly. Wow. <laughs> Ten minutes? Yeah. That's crazy. Put her on spot lock. Uh, so, let it be declared, I like Navins. Yeah, <laughs> they're sort of okay, right? <laughs> Holy cow. All right, Nate is having some magic with a Navin. Literally first cast. The first time he ever thrown a Navin. 45 inch Northern Wisconsin Muskie, a Wisconsin record for Nathan. Yep. And now we have a really nice pike in the bag. He is a nice one. Yeah. some help down there. No, 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 I just gotta get right there. There it is, there it is. Got him? Got him. I'll get on the other side of you just because the sun's that way. Beautiful northern Wisconsin yeah. gator. I would say 35. Yeah, he's probably pretty close to that. Yeah. It's a nice fish, dude. All right. Do you want to measure him or just... Nah. All right. Nah, he's, he's around the 35. He's starting to tense he's up here. Tense up anyway. Yep. Hey, hey. Yes. This went from a super frustrating day to uh, I, I couldn't be happier. And I haven't even caught anything. I haven't even seen a fish. But a trophy Wisconsin muskie um, for my buddy and that big pike. This is so cool. And we still have a good three, two and a half, three hours to fish. So let's get after it.
fish. Feels sort of solid. Taking them in the front here? Yep. yep. Pike? Is it a pike? Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, I can deal with them. Oh man, <laughs> that felt really good for a second yeah. there. Felt really good. Come here, buddy. Thanks for the thrill and everything, but no oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. Boy, he's a solid, stocky little fish, man. Be a good eater. All right. You want the camera? Nah, that's all right. Thanks, pal. That was a, a feel good, but wrong kind. Yep, There's definitely fish up on the shallower stuff, that's for sure. Yep, yep, it is a thing. Song again. Still there. Is he? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He won't maybe maybe sit it up on top like that. That was a good one, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good fish. That was, that was like probably a 44. I yeah, say. yeah. Wow, dude. All right, well, I kind of know where he's looking here. Got probably five turns on him. Yeah, okay, well. We know what else would you have done? <laughs> move it faster, move it slower. But... So, I, I'd go into an eight maybe, and then if you still can't get him, sometimes just let it like come up to the surface and just let it sit on the surface. No, I've had them come up and sit it and, and hit it when they do that. But no. whatever you do, it's gonna be wrong. <laughs> Until it's not. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, contact with another fish, so. All right, folks, we are in our, I would call this the power half hour. We don't have much time left. After Nate got the big fish, we contacted another really nice one. We're gonna try to go back on that one in these last couple of minutes of light that we have tonight. We got a couple pike. Um, we haven't seen much else. So uh, the humps that we were fishing that usually really produce for us out here were not. So we uh, had to make a change and that change was to a dive and rise. Um, I guess that just goes to show I'm, I throw bucktails all the time out here. Nathan was throwing something a little bit different and that's what got us the fish. We probably wouldn't have anything if I'd have been stupid and kept throwing a bucktail. So uh, just something to consider, you know, always have something different running. And we actually threw the nabbing because we had some information from some other guys on another lake. So that, that helped out a lot uh, in our decision to throw that bait. All 
All right, well, a bait switch for Mr. Nathan back here. Uh, got him his personal best musky in Wisconsin, 45 and a half inches, just a tank, especially for the lake that we were on. Yeah, um, yeah that was a beautiful fish. It was a heart stopper. <laughs> <laughs> Saw one other one that was close to that, uh, popped a couple pikes. So all in all, not a bad first day up here in northern Wisconsin. We've got four more days of fishing up here. Um, so hopefully we can put some more muskies in the boat for you. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.